Hi, and thank you for joining us again for another Legio IT YouTube channel update. Today we're talking about IBM Lotus Foundations and Windows Small Business Server 2003. At Legio IT, we just recently completed an implementation for a client where they've had an existing Windows Small Business Server that they wanted to migrate to new hardware. So instead of the typical go ahead and purchase new hardware and computers and just simply migrate your Windows Server over, we took a different approach as an exclusive partner with um, IBM, we, we've determined a solution that would really help our clients as far as data backup, ease of use, as well as giving them an opportunity to grow in the future. Today we're going to talk about some of those things, some of the opportunities we had. We'll also do a bit of a walkthrough at the on-site at our client's office. And finally, we'll also do a little quick tour through Lotus Foundation Server. So IBM Lotus Foundations, it's a Linux-based operating system server which is utilizing Lotus Foundation Start. Uh, this is an IBM solution which pretty much gives you everything you need out of the box to really run your business. It also comes with Intelligent Data Backup System, which is a hot swappable drive system that makes it really easy for our clients to, to do their off-site strategies for data backup, as well as a continuous backup throughout the day with incrementals every 15 minutes. It's also including VMware Server 2.0, which is an open source product that's freely available to anyone. But what uh, IBM's done now is they've packaged that in with the server offering to make it really easy for our clients to get up and take on things such as virtualization. Domino, Lotus Domino, which is an equivalent to Microsoft Exchange, is also included. And the beauty of IBM Lotus Foundation, there's many ways to deploy this product. It can also be deployed in under 30 minutes. The challenge we had with our client is that we need to migrate an existing small business server 2003 operating system to a brand new piece of hardware. The existing hardware was insufficient for what the client needed. We also need to determine an easy to use data backup solution and we also wanted to take a look at the future uh, as SBS is now about five, six years old now where we need to look at the possibly upgrading their OS in the future. We also need to determine a secured environment where we could store the hardware. The particular client we worked with was a retail location where we needed to make sure that we could secure the hardware in the open, but we also wanted to make it look professional. We also need a cost-effective implementation. We didn't want something that would take you know, several days to do. We need to be able to do this all in one day. And what we did is we went and we acquired an IBM Lotus Foundation server for our clients which included 8 gigabytes of, of RAM it was a quad-core Xeon processor and we've also included a couple of uh, three 500 gigabyte hard drives uh, one was used as a data backup the other two were used for a RAID 1 solution to provide mirroring for data data recovery purposes we also include an intelligent data backup disk, which will allow the client to do hot sw do the uh, interchange of hard drives for uh, disaster recovery purposes and taking it off site. We also purchase a brand new server cabinet, which it was very sleek, very professional looking, which will look good outside of the environment. Uh, from there, what we did is we took the existing hardware that the client had and we ran VMware Converter Tool. What VMware Converter Tool does for us is it takes basically a snapshot of an existing hard drive or multiple hard drives and packages it into a VMware compatible format. With that we've configured the virtual server uh, on the IBM Lotus Foundation server to really to, to allow us to import the VMware converted files from the, the old server. From there, it was a matter of hitting the, the play button on VMware, and we were up and running within four hours is how long it took us to implement this client. Now, obviously, some things you need to keep out, keep, keep in mind when you are doing implementation as such is that when you convert over into a virtual environment, hardware changes immediately. So Windows Small Business Server will identify that there are some changes in the hardware environment, and will ask you to re-enable and obviously activate your software again which we had no trouble doing if you do have troubles when you do this you can certainly call Microsoft they can help you out there too from here on in we're now going to take a look and go through a couple screenshots of IBM Lowe's foundations as well as we're also going to take a look at uh, a video that we've recorded from the actual on-site implementation 
IBM offers a pretty incredible tool to really manage a server as well as the data backup capabilities as well as all the files and virtual servers that you might have on your server. So what we're going to do right now is take a quick peek at the interface, the web config panel for the IBM Lotus Foundation servers. This screen here gives you a quick snapshot of the system status. As you can see we're running four processors on this server and it also shows all their load that each of them have. All IBM appliances for the Lotus Foundation suite do come with three Ethernet ports. We can also scroll down and see the internet status, firewall status, and any other applications or services that we have on here that are critical to the everyday use of the server. Well, on the left hand side, we have a very variety of options whether or not we want to add users to our system, set quotas. We can also do software updates, which are done pretty much automatically when you go into the software update screen you simply download the update and it's installed automatically for you. The hardware status area provides a snapshot of all of the hardware configuration on your server right for you right which is really easily accessible right on the screen here for you. Logs and reports gives you everyday snapshot of what's happening with the server as well as a variety of other options available. So everything's really configurable on the Lotus Foundation server. It really makes it easy to manage and provide ease of use for your clients. In fact, some of our own clients can go into the server here and, and do their own administration as they see fit, whereas they use us to complement their team. What we're going to take a look at right now is under add-ons. This is where we've enabled the virtualization of our Windows Server 2003. The status indicates that it's currently enabled and it provides our IP address information as well that we, we've enabled the data backup capabilities of the server. Advanced settings, we simply can click on the advanced virtualization settings. That will take us into the regular VMware Server 2.0 configuration tool where we can actually import other virtual machines and other applications right into Lotus Foundations makes it really really easy for us to administer multiple servers and virtual servers right on one server. Now that we've created a virtual environment for Windows Server uh, sorry Windows Small Business Server 2003 we can now go in the future and create an additional uh, virtual machine with Server 2008 which will give us an opportunity to easily transfer all of our data over from the old version of, of SBS into the new one. So here we have the server cabinet that we've implemented for Barry Flooring, which is mounted on the wall here and secured by a set of keys, which as you can see we're unlocking at this point. Within the server cabinet we have a battery backup system as well as the IBM Lotus Foundation server. Within the casing of the server we have the intelligent data backup disk, which is removable by a key, and then you can easily replace it with another intelligent data backup disk as well. After using the server cabinet for whatever, whether it's replacing a data backup disk, you can simply close the casing, lock it up, and then you're good to, good to go for another day. It's also professional looking and looks great in the new office for our client. A lot about does it for our IBM Lotus Foundation server implementation review that we've done today. If you have any further questions or it's just looking for additional information, certainly visit us online at www.eligio.ca. You can also give us a call at 403-770-9238. Or finally, you can also shoot us an email at customer.service at eligio.ca. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.